Hello everyone, this is Fundamenta here, and today I have yet another LEGO Monkey Kid Exeter story. So, I currently have a couple other stories lined up for LEGO Monkey Kid stories as of right now, um, but I really wanted to quickly get this story published because I published this story on my Tumblr blog a couple days ago, but haven't had much of an opportunity to record it, so I wanted to get that done really quickly before I get ahead on the rest of my stories lined up, but, um... This is a Sang Wukong X gender neutral reader story, and the title is simply Overworked. So, without further ado, let's get started. Your name was in class, listening to the lecture with a semi bored expression. The professor was announcing a new group project that was going and was going over all the ins and outs of the assignment. When your name was startled out of the lecture, out of listening to the lecture from their phone buzzing like wild. It was clear that a certain someone was texting them at a rate so fast that your name's phone was vibrating at an almost constant rate. They promptly excused themselves from class and went into the bathroom to call their loving partner, Wukong. Hey, Peaches, what are you doing right now? I should be asking you that. I'm in class right now. Your name whisper yelled into the phone. Then what are you doing on your phone? Wukong asked teasingly. Your name knew that he was just pushing their buttons, but that didn't make it any less infuriating. I had to go to the bathroom just so I could answer my clingy boyfriend's messages. So did you have something to actually say to me, or are you just messing with me again? Again? Sun Wukong, I swear I will hang up if you don't answer my question. Ugh, fine. I was wondering if you wanted to come over to Flower Fruit Mountain after you get out of your boring class. It may be boring, but it's also important. But to answer your question, I'm sorry, I can't. I just got a group project I have to start today. Your name didn't have the heart to hear his disappointed response, so they just hung up and turned off text notifications from their phone. Once your name got home, it was already almost 10 p.m., and they still had some homework to do before bed. The group assignment in one of their classes was already leaving a bad taste in their mouth because of the fact that your name got in, and because of the fact that your name ended up in a group filled with slackers and decision dodgers. So from the looks of things, your name is going to be the sole person doing any work in the in the group for that class assignment. Eventually, the last paper was done for the night and your name crashed onto their bed. They were unable to sleep just yet because of the f energy drinks and adrenaline from working so much. So your name just took out their phone and checked to see if we're calling you texted them at all since their call phone call prior in the day. Nothing. That did slightly concern your name. They glanced over at their calendar and knew that laying there speculating as to whether Wukong got busy himself or not would do nothing for them. So instead, your name just decided to fade to sleep. The next few days are practically a blur to your name. Things are rather busy preparing for the group project being due next the next week and tests and homework assignments thrown in for good measure to keep your name busy as possible. A couple of times throughout the week, Wukong had reached out to your name to ask if they wanted to hang out. As much as they wanted to do just that, they told him that they just didn't have the time. This unsettled Wukong a lot because he could tell that they seemed very tired in the few moments he got them on the phone. When Friday came along and they rebuffed him for what felt like the hundredth time, Wukong decided enough was enough. Your name was sitting at their computer desk, typing away at their group project that might as well have been called their project. But as they were finishing up the final report, they snapped out of their out of their thoughts by their phone ringing. Your name sighed as they both as they checked both the time and the caller ID. Sun Wukong, one fifty eight a.m. Hello. I knew it. Wukong sighed in disappointment with disappointment clear in his voice. Knew what? You're staying up late to finish your work, right? He asked, despite knowing the answer. No. Your name kicked himself in the head mentally for that lame excuse of a reply. Wukong sighed. Alright, I'm coming over. Wait, what? But I and you hung up, your name said as they heard the call beep. Sure enough, 20 minutes later, a knock at your name's window sounded throughout their apartment. Your name got up from their computer desk and let him in. Wukong looked around, feeling unsettled by the mess of energy drinks and soda cans literally littering every surface, along with small snacks sitting at the computer desk. Your name began to walk past them to head back to said desk, but Wukong knew where that would lead. No, 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 you don't. Wukong picked them up, ignoring their flailing. Wukong, put me down! I'm almost done! Well, if you're almost done, then you can finish your work tomorrow. 
he said, making a good point, st- making a good point despite your name's efforts to think not. You've been working all week. I think your grades won't suffer that much if you take one night off. Wukong pointed out, placing them gently on the bed. When your name signed up, Wukong placed a hand on their shoulder, keeping them down. Your name. Get some sleep. It'll make you feel better than it would if you got a slightly better grade. I'll stay here with you if it helps. Your name knew they weren't getting out of this without sleeping. Plus, their eyes were starting to get heavy since the caffeine was wearing off. They allowed out a loose yawn. All right, Wukong, you win. Now come over here and cuddle with me. Wukong smiled sweetly. All right. He squeezed into bed with your name and the two of them cuddled till late the next day. The end. I kind of based this a little bit off of how I've been overworking myself a lot of the time, and uh, it is a bad habit. But I am working on fixing that habit, and uh, making stories like this really kind of can help a little bit because I don't have to try so hard to attempt to get a good grade on a story that I'm just writing for fun. And it is really fun making these stories a lot because I've been really into th- into this fandom lately. So it's uh, it's been fun to write all this stuff. Um, and this is kind of a little way to vent my frustrations with myself and overworking myself in a, just a cute little story. Uh, so I hope all of you enjoyed this. And uh, it was a lot of fun to make. And uh, I hope all of you are doing okay. And that you guys aren't overworking yourselves. Because take it from me. I know where that leads. It's not fun. And it is. Be- you will feel better taking a nap. Than getting a slightly better grade for your work. Because at least then you won't be emotionally damaged. From the amount of times that you're overworking yourself. So... Uh, yeah, but uh, thank you all so very much for watching this video. I have a couple of other stories planned in the works. So thank you all so very much for watching. And as always, this is Fan Writer, and I'll be seeing you all very soon. Bye-bye.